Hey guys, Alex from 7th Hour Films back again with Cowboy Bebop. Last time on Cowboy Bebop, we had Jupiter Jazz Part 1, where uh, the gang, well, Faye left and took the money, and she was just going to go out on her own, and she wound up with this sax dude uh, who uh, is a uh, top half woman, bottom half man, and he also is working with Vicious, that was the next part, is that uh, uh, Spike went down to Callisto because he thought, because he heard the name Julia, and so he was going to check if it's his Julia, and then he ran into Vicious, and then Vicious's sidekick shot him, and uh, also uh, Sax person is, I don't know, he's not holding Faye at gunpoint, because she has the gun, but... I don't know. They're freaking her out, at least, so... Yeah. Yeah, I guess that's... I guess that's it. Anywho. Um... Like always, the reaction is down in the description and in the pinned comment for your viewing pleasure. You literally just have to scroll down and click a link, and you can watch the complete un... You know, uncensored reaction with... Completely visible footage. It's a miracle how that works. Anywho, just wanted to clarify that again for anyone who doesn't know uh, how we do things around here. But yeah, just click that link and you can watch the reaction. And it'll be fun, I think. I hope. So, let's find out if it'll be fun as we get into this session of Cowboy Bebop. Here we go. Okay. Um... Here's something good, at least. Uh, well, I, I say that. This is still a good episode. Um, you know, last episode, I, I don't know. I liked last episode, but I was also sitting here thinking, like, okay, Vicious is back. And while he was interesting in the episode he was in, I, I don't know. I just thought it was interesting bringing him back, you know? And... Seeing more, I was like, well, okay, I guess we'll get a bit more of him, and maybe that'll be that. But clearly, uh, here's me being stupid, uh, it's not just going to be a that'll be that, you know? Because clearly we are going to get more of Vicious uh, at least one more time in this show. Uh, I believe, if there's 26 episodes, let me look. Yeah. There's 26 episodes, so this is the exact halfway point of the show, not counting the movie, which we will do, uh, which I believe the movie, correct me if I'm wrong, I think it takes place after like episode 22 or 23, it's one of those, uh, I've got it written down somewhere, but we'll watch the movie uh, at the appropriate time, but yeah, that, that's it's still about, in terms of the episodes, we're at the halfway point. Um, and yeah, like, I can see now Vicious is going to come back. Like, I kind of figured, like, okay, we're going to get round two, you know, we're going to get some more of Spike's backstory, maybe, and that, and that'll be that, or something. And clearly, I was a fool to think that. Because, yeah, we have leftover, unresolved things with both Vicious and Julia, specifically. So, so that's good. That's good. And that... Honestly, that now makes makes more sense with how they have portrayed Spike's backstory up until up until now is that they've only shown it in, you know, just very quick flashes because they're they're waiting. They're waiting. They're going to build this up for something later. Now, I would still be very interested if they even if we got a resolution for Julia and for Vicious in another episode. I still think it would be interesting if they didn't fully go into Spike's backstory, you know? Like, full-on flashback and everything. Like, I would... I think it would still be interesting if... While we did get them in the present day, it would also be interesting if we just, you know... Like, most of what happened in the past is implied. I think that would be really interesting, but we'll have to see. Either way, it'll be good and it'll be interesting. Ow. I suddenly have a, a little bit of a headache. wonder where that popped up from. Oh, well. 
Anywho, so yeah, uh, interesting stuff. Very, very interesting stuff. And I mean, an interesting. It, it's weird to say a send off for a character who's only been in two episodes, but, um, but just an interesting story with uh, Gren. I think. The good thing is, because at first I was like, okay, well, this is kind of weird. Like, we're devoting so much of this time to Gren and his grudge with Vicious, you know? And it's like, well, but shouldn't we spend that time on Spike, you know? But if anything, I guess this sort of just builds up Vicious a bit more, you know? So, I like that. So, Gren... That was the name, right? It was Gren. It wasn't like Gren. I, I don't... Th I think it was Gren. That's what I'm going to be saying. So if I'm wrong, oh well, you can leave it down in the comments. So Gren and Vicious were in the War on Titan, uh, which is interesting. They're, they they were a part of attacks on Titan. Anyway, um, so that was interesting. Now, it kind of makes me stop and think, like, okay, well, what... At what point was this, like, in the timeline? Because we don't know the full timeline, you know? But I thought it was that Spike and Vicious were, like, part of a mafia or something. And, you know, that's basically just, you know, that was it. And they were partners, you know? And eventually, there was deception, betrayal, and uh, something concerning Julia, which, you know, split them apart and... Uh, caused Spike to uh, go go rogue, basically, until eventually he meets up with Jet. So, at what point was Vicious in the army and... Like, it, basically, all I'm asking is, was this before or after, I guess, whatever happened with Spike? You know? Before or after Spike left. I would almost say... See, it, I guess it would make sense to be after... Because, yeah, they just sort of, you know, they grew up, uh, they grew up, I think is what they implied, is that they grew up together, sort of in this, I guess, mafia, if you want to call it that. Ugh. So, so yeah, like, maybe afterwards, you know, who knows, maybe this mafia dispensed. There's some, I guess there is some reason, too, because Vicious goes rogue, too. He goes and does his own thing for a while and eventually comes back and that's when he kills uh he kills the guy in uh he kills the guy in uh in episode five what's episode four um so yeah so like when i guess it, it would just make sense that he goes off after spike leaves after whatever happens to julia happens he goes off and i guess is part of the war on titan and that's where he meets Gren. But then afterwards... After the war... He gets Gren arrested for being a spy. And... They give him all these drugs... That give him boobies. And... And then... Gren meets Julia, and yeah, set something down, no problem. Gren meets Julia, tells her about the little music thing, little music box thing, and then because she knows Vicious, she looks. They they open it up, and there's something in there. I guess that implicated him or something. Actually, don't fully remember what was in there. Um. Yeah, and now he tried to get his revenge. Yeah. I mean, it, yes. It, essentially, I guess I don't need to get you know too bogged down in the details. It's basically you know something happened. There was the whole... Th I mean, the, the like, the most clear thing is that Vicious apparently testified against Gren. And that's how he got arrested. And he got the, the, the drugs that messed up his hormones. And Gren wanted revenge. But that was interesting. And then, yeah, we had Gren going and... Uh, 
getting close to Vicious without uh, without him knowing. And he immediately knew. He immediately knew that Vicious planted a bomb as well uh, in that briefcase. So he kicked it back. Man, okay, so clearly there is something up with Vicious, you know? There is something different. I thought he was just a dude, but there has to be something specific about Vicious because this guy has survived two explosions, one of which was at, like, point blank. But this guy has survived, like, two explosions and he basically, like, dodges bullets, you know? Like, there is something... There's something more with Vicious, you know? Now, we have had, in both this and in Episode 5, we had flashes of this sort of, like, operating room. And I guess it's implied that the person being operated on is Spike. So that's also part of it. Now, one interesting thing I will say is when they says like, oh yeah, Spike, you're Spike, and you've got two different colored eyes. And I'm sitting over here like, oh, it, does he? <laughs> does he have two different colored eyes? Because, like, they had a close-up on, on Spike, and I looked at his eyes when they said that, and I don't see a difference. Like, I mean, I guess you don't have to make it like, normally, I think, in fiction, whenever someone has two different colored eyes, they are very starkly different, you know? Maybe one is a brown eye, one is, like, a, you know, bright blue-green eye or something, you know? Uh, like, something, like, there is a very visible, like, l I guess, light difference in their eyes, in their pupils or whatever, but... But I look at Spike and I'm like, are his eyes different colors? I'm not sure. And... If they were, like, was that supposed to be the case the whole time? Like, I don't know. I don't know if that's, like, an animation error or if, like, I I don't know. Like, that, but that doesn't sound right. Because, like, if, you know, a person, I mean, I don't know if this is based on a manga. I mean, most anime are, but I don't know if this one is. But I feel like somebody would have been like, hey, in the story, Spike's eyes need to be different colors. But I swear they're just not different colors. Maybe, like, the only thing I can think is... Yeah, I'm sure they are, like, just slightly different. But I swear, I looked right at both of his eyes and I don't really see a difference between them, you know? So, but I think there's something... So, I guess that could also be part of the backstory. There's something with Vicious, there's something with Spike. For Spike, he got eyes. And for Vicious, he got superhuman feats of strength and yet spike still kind of beat him anyway so meh meh oh i mean there could honestly there could be more stuff with spike that we just don't know i mean we don't know we don't know we don't know who we don't know anything about julia we don't know anything about their backstory we don't we literally don't know you know and neither do any of the characters apart from them you know, neither do any of the characters, because even when Faye is like, who's Julia? And Jet just says, I don't know, but it's she's someone who's got a hold on Spike. That's it. Like, even Jet doesn't know, you know? So, yeah, but it's I mean, it's interesting. And I'm glad at least like this time now I'm ending the episode knowing like, OK, well, we're going to get more, you know, and yeah, and that's something, like, again, in episode 5, I didn't really feel like that. And last episode, I was like, I don't, I don't know. Is this, you know, just going to be another one-off thing? Or, I'm, I'm not really sure. But now, it's definitely guaranteed, like, okay, this is going to be coming back. This is the sort of reoccurring thing in Cowboy Bebop is, uh, is Spike and Vicious. So, okay, I can get behind this, and I eagerly await when we get more of that. Um, we also had, uh, was it Lynn? Lynn dying, uh, he ended up getting shot, and Vicious said something like, oh, he, he died, he didn't die for me, he died for the Order. So, I, I assume it's, uh, whatever the, the, the three really old dudes were last episode. I don't know, we'll have to see, uh, we'll have to see when that comes back. Um, 
good dog fight uh good air fight like that was really good i think that might be one of the best uh one of the best air fights we've had like that was really really good um and then yeah we had gren dying but wanting to be returned to titan uh which was really interesting and then yeah book ending it with uh the i guess the titan natives or whatever uh that the native tight the native titanians uh and seeing oh that you know it's like oh it's a falling star and it's like well that's probably just Gren's ship, you know? But uh, but that was a good bookend, especially because, you know, last episode you think, oh, maybe they're talking about Spike or something. Even though it seems, you know, obvious that he's not dead, you just kind of think like, oh, I wonder, you know, wonder what's happening there. But it's actually about Gren, which is interesting. And again, yeah, for, for a story about a new character that has a history with Vicious, when we still don't know this history with vicious that our own main character has it's done very well and it definitely in this episode like i cared a lot more basically you know and mainly i guess that was just because last episode i really wasn't sure where we were going with anything you know like aside from just a uh you know a confrontation between spike and vicious like it just i don't know i wasn't sure what we were doing but we got it we got it and i'm Again, curious to see where we're going uh, with this Spike Julia vicious storyline. Although, I would imagine next episode we're going to be pretty much back to basics. Uh, I'm sure that'll come back, you know, a little bit down the line. And who knows, maybe next episode will be an episode with Edward. We'll have to see. We will definitely have to see. Um, but yeah, that is basically it. With all that being said, I'm Alex from 7th Hour Films, and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Alright guys, thanks for watching this video. There's a bunch of links on screen if you want to go click around to any of those. There's a playlist for all of my Cowboy Bebop reactions, as well as another video you can go click on if you want. There's also a subscribe button and a Patreon button on screen, as well as other links in the description if you want to go check out any of those. See you guys later.